Hi guys, I am Asif Ali and watching this your video today. I created this hit and hit and death effect with this shield, and I will create it from scratch. So if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. If you like this video, like, share, and comment, and let's start this. First of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So this is the reference I found on Mages box. Uh, this guy, this girl is shooting projectile on these two characters. The first one is dying. I will just create one character dying and that's shooting the projectile and I'll put the link in the description and I found this death animation and one more for shooting. I will just import that both here quickly. I'm creating a basic map for now. And, and then a label sequence. Drag it here and just auto play and just open this. So, from the animation, I need this throw one and drag it here. So, and then in the animation, we'll use that so this will throw the projectile and then from the that I'll drag it into the sequencer and then take the animation of this one. Okay, so this should be rotated here 180. So we will see is shooting the projectile and then there should be this animation. Okay. And I'll move it little far. So projectile will take time to reach here, then it's hitting. So we are done with the animation part. Okay, although we can add a camera that we can do later, and now we will start creating our effects. So, in here, I'll close it. It has just a basic ball projectile that we can create very quickly. So, projectile Nigra Mountain FX Projectile. And you can animate projectile also here, or you can add velocity here. That's up to you. So let's say this direction is Y positive. So I'll add that. So I'll copy this, paste this here. This is my ball. And in my ball, I have just a single particle, a single particle. It is spawned just once and the life is just maybe two. And this is like 2020 and very hot ball. And these particles should emit from that. So I'll remove the gravity and velocity. And also this one and I'll type here from and type the name ball here. Fix this. And now these particles will emit from this. I'll remove the gravity. And spawn little high spawn count. So in this one, ball one, I'll add the velocity on the Z direct, sorry, Y direction, maybe 100, maybe 500. So it should go little fast like this. Let me now, let me make it uh, local first and i'll drag it into the sequencer right click move to the folder fx
they have this here down here okay uh this is on zero and this should spawn here so i'll put a key here and one key back turn this off and if i play this is spawning but the right position <laughs> should be here okay it's little high and why this is going high in the velocity i have also in z well now it's going straight and now we can make it maybe 700 and the trail i'll make it maybe 0 0.6 0 0.5 still slow so maybe 900 yeah now it's hitting and when this is hitting here at this frame this should be like die so what i can do here i can click here and next frame turn this off so that trail will die and see that trail uh, immediately disappears so here in the state complete let particle finish it should work like this but it's not working so what you can do instead of dying it here i'll just uh, make the life maybe one Eight. yeah and i'll make it gpu because i want to use lots of particles or yeah i want to make it gpu and this one also I'll use curl noise in the spawn. Okay, size of 10. And the color will be. and i'll take the size here color also fading the trail part is almost done now we need the hit flash so i'll do that although we you can create that flash in this one also but i will i'm creating the separately so fx hit fly first we need flash so i'll take the flash aerial from here I just need a burst maybe five particles and the size should be maybe 200 and 100 and the color i will use this one and this should be uh, the size should be animate like this and the light should be like 0 0.3 0 0.1 
okay and then i'll copy this and paste it here and in this one i'll use additive radial and make the size little higher and little reddish and the life maybe little little higher okay then i'll copy this again and in this one i have radial and i'll use the velocity aligned and then i'll spawn maybe 10 particles or 20 particles and the size i will use maybe 20 10 and then velocity from point if i isolate it this is how it looks and I will randomize this and red 500 so we have this and then I'll copy this one more time and in this time I will not use velocity aligned and in the size uniform size maybe 5 and 1 and the life I'll use maybe 0 0.6 0 0.5 and the spawn rate maybe 50 and I'll take the drag and use a curve here this one so it will kind of stop there and little gravity not that much i should be more random and this should all be actually local i should have done this to my first emitter because i duplicated this all emitters and now browse this actually save all what is saying to save oh we didn't save the map yet let's save it to the hit that map and i'll open this one so we have this thing till now and now i will drag my hit flash here and this should appear here so i will put a key here and before one free disable this and the position should be here so if i play a flash is not visible properly so what you can do you can add camera offset maybe 20 50 and also i'll increase the size maybe 400 and this one maybe five yeah so initially that character is in t pose that i don't want it should be like this okay so what you can do i'll copy this copy and paste so we have two animations so initially I'll just go to the property and the end range I will use maybe five or maybe two. So it will take just two frames. Okay. You can copy paste that. But I think you can let me check. infinity you can use that cycle it's animating 
right? Did not animate because I'm Okay, so what I'll do here, you can just copy paste it for now. So you can just so it will be oh. Where is the character? Why is hidden? let me just stop this video and fix this okay so i found the solution so we have this static pose i'll copy this animation copy and paste so we have this animation and this is also animating so i won't just use the first frame so go to the properties and here you have the play rate i'll just make it zero not zero uh you need to make it 0 0.01 or maybe 0 0.001 See, now it is static and now you have this cool yeah so we have our projectile and we have also that and the projectile the trail is still very long i'll use maybe 0 0.3 0 0.5 Okay. So the next thing is after the projectile. Okay, that magic box has issue. It doesn't open properly. I should have downloaded this video. When this is hitting there's a glow and then there is also actually on the second hit uh, this appear uh, on the first hit on the second hit is dying so i will create that already so before hitting like his uh, the anticipation of uh, throwing the projectile so this time that effect should be appear okay so what is that we have two rings and then falling particles so that is like uh, like a shield so we will call it fx shield to protect that enemy so ring and we will instead of sprite here we will take the ring i have already lots of rings there maybe i will use this one and let me show you the material i have this texture i just used it in my previous tutorials maybe yesterday so i have this rgb in this texture and here I am using this noise that is rotating and multiplying here so the glow is animating here kind of okay so I am using this shield and we just need two particles and this should be custom align custom vector and then take align to mesh orientation on z direction and then the size be uniform 
uniform and these are two and color you can make like this and they should be like offset in between these two so in here or maybe in position i'll type the position and break this so you need to make the vector first then you can break it and on the z i will add and then i will multiply with execution index so we can make this size we can also animate it if you want so let's say you have this much and turn the local on and drag this to the sequencer okay and the position will be here and this should be a little bigger maybe 160 no 200 maybe yeah now it's kind of covering okay so i want this to spawn initially after here maybe so i'll just put a key on the spawn and one frame back so it will spawn here and then it will go up so I'll, I'll spawn it so i'll make this a curve and like this and at 0.5 it will be like here or maybe here okay so it will be like this and also i'll take the rate and just put maybe 200 or 100 and one more thing scale color it should uh, appear softly like this so I'll like this so here you can see yeah the height is okay but that is disappearing this should be there for like long time i'll just close this and i'll make the life maybe it is random actually make the direct and maybe five and this will be also five actually make it once let me check that flash is uh, uh, spawning again so here after flash is done i'll put a key and on the next frame i'll just disable this so now it is very slow because the life is five so i'll make the life maybe three now And the color should fade in fade out so and also this should be like 0.2 now what happened five let me check should be maybe 0.3 point okay it is point this at zero it will be zero and at point five it will be one and this key should be like this taking time to appear because of this color so i'll make it like 0.1 and then 
it should also fade and come back to the original position so what i'll do because i am taking point 0.4 here it should be actually point 0.3 or point 0.2 maybe okay so i'll put two keys so at point 0.8 it will be one but at one it will be again zero so the key will be like this and same i'll do here in the opacity so this is point 0.1 i'll put two keys at point 0.9 it will remain one and at one it will be zero point nine this will be one okay and this is spawning again oh i have double spawn yeah and It should come fast so what we can do we can actually i'll break this key this like this cool so this is done the the rings are not working anymore on this so next is if I stop it, we have a cylindrical thing here. And so let's get that first. M, that cylindrical thing. So let's call it M slender. And on a slender, T, noise, or like this. Okay, I'll take the aura data that I like. And then I'll take another noise and texture coordinate, mask, green channel. Multiply this with this. <laughs> it will appear like this. Then there should be a panel and the texture coordinate so, tiling stressed then i will add this noise here to distort it and i'll take the same pan here but with the different speed maybe 0.4 and distort and also same tiling and distortion maybe 0.5 will be okay yeah it, it looks like fire now okay so i like it particle color connected here connect here and that's it you need to just make it translate and lit to side it and save this so i'll use this material here after ring i'll control d this is my slender and we need a mesh slender and then that material we don't need alignment here this position or rate or yeah let it the color there uniform so this is fitted exactly yeah actually i will make this non-uniform not this this so non-uniform height will be 200 but this thing i think 180 the width Uh, I think I use 20, not. This much. And I'll not make it brighter. Maybe point, point 0.2. Okay. 
yeah so this should also scale so i'll take the scale mesh and make the break it actually and x y will be one and in here we need that curve so that we have on opacity so i'll just copy this curve and paste it here on the z so it will animate like this This key will be like 1.5 or 9.2 and this key will be 0.8 maybe 0.7 okay and this is also fading fade out yeah so we have now two things okay and this fading key i will also move it to yeah 0.7 next thing after this we have some particle falling from uh, the above ring so i'll copy this ring copy and paste this will be falling particles and i'll use the additive here i don't need alignment not this color should be fade in fade out okay rotation i don't need i need a shape and a gravity and the shape will be my ring disc and this size maybe 200 100 and the particle will be a uh, particle rate maybe 200 and the size will be maybe one and five and i'll actually make it gpu and spawn maybe 2000 particles you can see and the ring size will be like 90 and the offset offset will be like uh, how much offset in here 200 the so offset will be 200 under z and the life will be random random maybe yeah and the gravity will be less like this and this will be like two and there should be a delay of maybe 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.6 so when it reaches then it should start falling and also the gravity speed should be random so this is minus 180 right now so minus 200 minus 150 and then here in the color i will use this randomize also some will be brighter some will be saturated maybe 20 and spawn rate may be just 600 and the ring size i'll use 80 yeah so yeah uh, size of particle i can increase a little bit and also this so after this some streaks going up from the bottom so i'll copy this and this will be my streak in this one there will be no offset and in the gravity it will be reverse so maybe 200 and 300 i will use from here and instead of the shape ring i will use the size is 80 slender 80 radius and this will be zero so it will spawn from all area and then it will be velocity aligned and i will stretch it here maybe 50 
and also spawn rate will be just maybe 20 and also i'll add velocity and red to 100 and the life should be like 0 0.5 0 0.3 0.6 and I'll use size and this curve. This will be like 150 and the velocity a little more high and it will be more bright maybe 500 and 200. And the more thing is there is a glow on the ground and something like energy. So first there is a glow on the ground. So I'll duplicate this ring, copy and paste. And in this one, I'll use this one. Very simple. Uh, from one radial I am subtracting the this one and we have it's not previewing yeah we have this so I don't need this position and just the one particle uh, actually I'll take the rate five particles life is should be one and there should be size sprite and it will fill up like this and fading it should be like this life i'll make it two it will be a little slower and the size may be 500 like this and 300 and actually this should not uh, spawn rate i'll make it three yeah that is visible you can see that and actually the size will not be zero initially it should be like 0.5 so it will be just on the outer area and also this loop will be 2 cool. and now control L and I'll just make this maybe this much darker and one more light maybe one 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and then we have this exponent height fog. I'll make that blue, and then I have this light, diagonal light, to make it movable. duplicate it and I will rotate this from here and turn off the shadow and I'll increase the intensity a little bit so my character will be lit properly okay and then this one That flash is not very impactful. I don't like that. 
so in the hit flash i'll make it maybe 100 and make it maybe 600 500 and then we have this glow this will be like 700 500 then we have these streaks velocity will be 2000 maybe and this is 1000 and the size will be 10 here and a little more brighter then we have these particles so velocity maybe 2000 and size will be little high let me check this is actually too much now actually the glow and everything is okay that could be that big but these shooting particles too high Add post. And on the time of hit, you can make more impact. So I'll add the post here. And this is where my hit is happening here. So first I'll take the color abbreviation. And on this frame, it is zero put the key on the next frame it is maybe like this put the key and maybe three keys it will be again zero so we'll see now little too high actually this will be maybe just maybe three and also Uh, maybe the bloom intensity and not bloom i'll take the exposure actually let me take the where is the color i'll take actually these things contrast and see con what is going to I change the wrong setting. So we have this contrast and see if I make this 10, 10, 10, this is making it uh, almost black. And if I make it like 0, 0, 0, this is almost like this. So and this value is changing all these together. So this is one. So in this frame this is one on next frame this is maybe 0.8 and on the next frame this is maybe two three and next frame this is one so like this to make like effects like this to present you need to also present your effects properly and now what i'll do first uh, i'll actually animate my camera so i don't have any camera take a camera and this should be initially here here and i'll put the keys on my camera and then when it's creating it will move a little bit here 
Okay, so we have this. Not that much, actually. Will be just move a little bit. Okay, and then here on this key, uh, on the next key, it will shift to here. I will zoom it here for now. Yeah, so on this key. It will be like this. Actually, we have some key issue. We can go to the curve, transform. It should be actually linear. I'll press 4. Okay, so it will straight come here. And then from here, it will shift the camera. And now, let me check the animation. Till here, till he is shooting, the camera will be same. So I will put the keys. And on the next frame, my camera will be like this. And then let me check. So there's the camera. And when he's shooting here, till here, my camera will pan like this. And let it go back here. So that trail is not visible because that projectile is GPU and we don't have bigger fix, uh, bigger value here. But like we can use thousand fixed bounding box. Let me save all. So now, and when this is hitting, till here, uh, actually, till here, I will move the camera like this. I'll copy paste these keys. Let me check. We can also add little camera shake in this one. So go to blueprint shake default, and this will be my hit uh, hit that shake. Uh, I'll just make these three frequency and this one yeah. uh, and duration will be maybe 0.4 that's it so in the sequencer in the camera I'll use a shake hit that shake and this should be here when the hitting
So the camera is shifting even before he created full shield. So I'm more of the keys. Actually, here I have to do something. This key will move here and I'll copy the same key, copy and paste it here. So when he's creating the shield, there should be a static camera. And one more thing, let me check this. One more thing, in the shield, those falling particles appear a little earlier. So I'll put the, uh, maybe more delay. And in the rate also, you can use a curve. And at zero, it is zero. At point one, it is one, now 600. So it will softly spawn particles like not all these together this issue here i don't know what is happening so if i create a video from this and then we can check per frame so we need to just create click here and avi 30 frames everything is okay on desktop and yeah just capture it so it's not uh, creating on desktop on my H drive. Great. And I'll just stop this recording. So capture is completed and this is my video. Oh, the resolution is different. It's okay. <laughs> so basically it's creating. Next frame is this. Here's the issue. This is spawning a little earlier and on the wrong position also. Rest of thing look fine to me. Nothing is stick. But this thing is I need to make it a little back. So here we have a projectile. And that is spawning here. <laughs> I'll select this. Little back. And that's it. And that effect is not having any, you know, the in the the feel like it is there. It's not connecting with the ground. So in the shield, uh, what you can do, you can add light on it or maybe some some more glowy part. So what I'll do in the slender, I'll open the material and I'll take the power here and make the dynamic parameter so this is for dissolve and what i'll do with it let's see so in the shield i'll use this lender as it is it has this dynamic parameter dissolve one and then i'll copy this copy and paste here and this one I'll dissolve it maybe two or three or five, three actually, and then I'll increase the brightness maybe maybe ten. So we will have something maybe five, yeah.
there should also be no let it be let it be this is done and let me uh, also fix the focal length so this is the focal length here i'll put the key this is also okay yeah this is okay yeah this is done so i'm finishing this tutorial so let me close all these and we can play from here thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye